Gary here. Hey, well, today we're going to talk about checking the angles on a propeller using a propeller protractor. Now, some of you are pretty astute and you know that you can actually get an app on your phone that would probably do it easier. However, your app on the phone is not a calibrated piece of equipment. So if you're going to do it on aircraft, you'd have to have a calibrated piece of equipment. Although this one is not, we're going to pretend like it is. So in order to check the angles of a propeller or the, the blade angle, if you will, we're going to use the propeller protractor. And there's a couple of things you need to know about the propeller protractor. First thing is you have to set it up according to your propeller. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here and lock it in so that the two zeros, zero and zero are locked together. Now you can see I can move both scales move together. And what we have to do is we have to do what I call a zero reference angle. Now notice this particular engine is sitting at an angle. So it would do absolutely no good for me to find something that was level and make this level and call that level and then try and find out what, uh, what my angles are. It would make absolutely no sense. So we have to find the zero reference angle. In other words, referencing the angle of the propeller to the actual crankshaft. Now, the best way, an undisputed way to do it would be to remove this propeller, set my protractor on the propeller shaft and zero it out on that. Well, rather than do all of that, what we're gonna use is the face of this, the hub right here, the hub nut, and we're gonna use that. Now, no guarantees that that's perfect. A, a smart person would probably take the prop off do a zero angle, zero it out, set the protractor aside, put the prop back on and see if this matches. But we're gonna just assume that this matches. So I'm gonna come over here this way and what we're gonna do is line this up here, pull out the secondary level to make sure that I'm level this way back and forth. And using this knob right here, remember I've got it locked in so both items move together. Bring it up until the bubble is perfectly centered and once it's perfectly centered the best I can get it best I can get it I'm gonna lock this nut in right here and what that does it locks the outer ring so I'm gonna double check I'm, I'm good the outer ring is now locked solid so I'm gonna unpin it so now the inner ring will move and the outer ring stays put so that is my zero reference angle so if I come back over here and I line up the zeros, it's going to be level. Okay, now I'm gonna check the angle of this propeller. We check the angle to 75% station has been marked on this propeller. Here's an important thing to note. If you check and make your zero reference angle this way, you have to keep the protractor headed this way. So it has to come around this way. We'll check it back here on the face, the part that faces the pilot, and we will Move this until it centers perfectly, bubble centers perfectly, and then read it up here off the scale. So I have 21, 25, a little over 26 degrees is what I have. Now, let's check the other side. And remember what I said, I had it like this. So when I come around, I have to keep it facing that way. If I turn it around and face it towards me, completely wrong. So we're gonna come back in here. We're gonna check this one, same way, zero it out. Making sure my secondary bubble level is level right there. Take a reading, I have 14 degrees. So this prop would shake real bad. I wouldn't wanna fly in this thing. So on this side, we've got 14. The other side, we've got uh, 26, I believe it was. You want it within a 10th of a degree uh, to keep the vibration and everything down to minimum. So that's how to check the angles on a propeller.